Our goal for our region should be pretty straightforward. Our coalition of neighboring democratic nations that trade freely and live peacefully with one another. Other than overcoming our own past indifference and the lack of focus on this goal, there are two other challenges. The first is Venezuela and the other ALBA countries whose overt and, with, and their overt anti-Americanism. Now they make a lot of noise and we can't ignore their anti-democratic abuses or their growing closeness to Iran. But our greater challenge really is a second and more subtle one. And that's the effort of some nations to replace our influence with their influence and to, and the, and to use protectionism and unfair practices to pursue that aim. The antidote for both of these problems is to re-engage energetically in the region. First, we must be a clear and consistent advocate for freedom. And to be free isn't just limited to elections. It's a way of governance. In Venezuela, Nicaragua, Bolivia, and Ecuador, elected leaders have used their power to undermine fundamental freedoms by attacking the press, the courts, and their political opponents. Second, we need to commit to being a reliable partner as our neighbors cope with significant security challenges. Both Mexico and Colombia, they need our continued commitment to win their respective wars against criminal organizations. And we must also make it abundantly clear that we will not tolerate Iran exporting violence and terrorism to our hemisphere. Third, we must reject protectionism and instead embrace the ultimate goal of a free trade area of the Americas. The recently approved free trade agreements with Colombia and Panama was a good step. We need to move forward to bring both Canada and Mexico into the Trans-Pacific Partnership. And fourth, we should move aggressively to form a strong energy partnership with Canada, Mexico, Brazil, Colombia, and a post-Chavez Venezuela. A stable Western Hemisphere displacing an unstable Middle East and an increasingly belligerent Russia as the center of the world's energy production would create countless jobs for Americans and energy security for the world. 